Start this. Recording? Yes. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to part three of the Skull V3 TAC Edition build. Well, let's dive into the build. I don't know if this is... There's Kit Kat. <laughs> hey, Kit Kat. Say hello. Uh, anyway, I, I don't know what the title of this video is until I, like, finish filming this and, and everything. I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'm going to start out with the bottom here. And we're going to work our way up from the bottom. And just, I may do this, like, this may be part... 3.0 and then point 3.1 I don't know we'll figure that out as we go so let's get started first say hello to Kit Kat you loud ass cat you son of a bitch okay so let me get my screws over here I, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to use the same size screw in the whole entire quad but uh, it's just not going to work out for mounting up my uh my flight control, uh, my PDB. So these are M3 by 12 screws. What the hell? Are you serious? He's not even made a peep. <sighs> okay, continuing on, ignoring the cat. So I'm using these little fancy washers, like I talked to, like I said before. The uh, M3 by 12s, and then uh, I use the nylon nut. A big no-no with these drones is using the nylon screws because your stack, first crash, your stack's going to be hanging out the side of the quad. Not a good idea. So I'm going to try to make this video short, so I'm just going to cut to where all four of these screws are in and the little nylon nut is on there. Okay, get those. I'm just holding the nut with my fingers. Don't like over tighten it because you can strip those out. Those will stay just like that. All right, our PDB. I'm going to go ahead and establish that this is the front of the quad, okay? Because it has to do with the way that you mount your PDB on here. All right. Now, I've used these little um, rubber standoffs. It's not focused. Hey, Kit Kat. <laughs> So I use these little rubber standoffs right here, and um, that's just what holds your PDB down. I'm going to have to go shut his ass in another room. Put these on there. Would you shut up, cat? All right, got all our little rubber standoffs all on there, nice and neat, just for demonstration purposes dig out my flight controller whatever I did with it here in case you guys want to skip ahead through some of this stuff flight controller will go on here with the arrow facing forward there's an arrow right there facing forward and then I take another set of nylon nuts and just put them on there so that's that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to tin up. Surely you guys are watching this video before you try to start doing all this. If, if somebody is actually following along with the build. Surely. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin up my PDB. And I'm going to do all of the positive and negatives all the way around. And this one here, I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And and then I'll come back and we'll talk about how to install the XT60. Okay, so we got our PDB all tinned up. But it's got, it's got all that um, flux all over it. And I like to take a toothbrush and some alcohol and clean all that that I can, the best I can. I like to try to clean all that off of there. Eh, get it in frame. I like to try to clean all that off there. Because over time, that will deteriorate your solder job. So get this all nice and clean. I should have brought a paper towel. 
but I don't have one. Anyway, I like to scrub all this stuff up the best I can. Okay, so, yeah, am I still recording? Yes. All right, so I got that stuff cleaned pretty good. Got that all tinned up. Uh, now we're gonna do the XT60 portion of the build. Okay, this is actually gonna be pretty simple. All right, so, this is a weird looking XT60 that I've never seen before. It doesn't have a place to put the wires. It's made to go straight onto the board like that okay so i'm probably going to regret doing this because i'm imagining it's going to just break this thing off right there but i kind of want to try it because my friends they give me such a hard time team banjo legs love you guys hope y'all are watching because i watch all y'all's crap normally what i usually do is i do this uh xt60 saver and I'll put some wires through this. I'll put this on here like this. Right? With a little stubby wire. And come through here. And then that, that allows that to like flex a little bit. And it lasts a while. But it breaks. And my buddies give me a hard time. Because that breaks pretty frequently. You know the wires. It just, it just wiggle, 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 wiggle so much. But I don't like dealing with the pigtail of wire coming off of my quad. So... I think I'm going to regret it. I'm saying it on video, but I'm going to directly solder this XT60 to this PDB. And probably wish I never did it. But, here I go. Make sure my polarity is right. Because I've done that before. We'll see. <laughs> this probably ain't going to work. I do not suggest doing this. I'm, I'm just going to try it. Okay, that's probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done in this hobby, but it is what it is. So, quickly touch on the reason why I like to do this is because I'm going to strap my battery on here like this, and then I can just bring this around and plug this up. And the prop, this is way above the prop. The prop's under here. My little pigtail doesn't get hurt. Everything works out great. We'll just see. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, baby. So now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the motors on here. Why not? That way I have a little bit more stable base, you know, once I get my... I'll show y'all how to do one, then you can do the other three by yourself. Okay, got our wild wheelie motor, our little motor skids printed by my buddy Justin this is zoomed in a little far let's try that printed printed by my buddy Justin 
currently undecided, and our M3 by 10 screws. That way, oh, and blue Loctite. The only screws that I suggest on the quad to uh, put Loctite on. It's because it's a little squirt out here on this eh, piece of plastic. Eh. Go get a little dab out there, do you? Find my Allen wrench that I just had like five seconds ago. Here it is. Mm. A little dab on the threads there. Come up through that unit. Come up through that unit like that. Surely, if you can't figure out how to put motors on, you don't need to be building a quad. But we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to leave that a little loose. Grab another one of my N3 by 10s. Uh, proud of those. They just come in the mail today. Enough to build all these quads with. Don't tighten them up too much yet. So if there's any of you new people out there that uh, has never put a quad together ever, uh, and you're watching this video and you haven't watched a billion others besides this one which is what you should be doing because we ain't learning nothing here but please pay attention that your screws do not go up past the foot inside here and into your stator the wires that you see in there even the little wires where they're soldered onto the stator kind of right in here do not let your motor your screws come up in there and squish those wires. That is going to end horribly. You'll smoke your motor just right off the bat. And it makes your quad do weird stuff. It can mess with the video. There's like a thousand different things that those screws being too long can cause. But I will say that if you choose the exact same motor as this. This mount from Flynosaurus, it'll be this is on Thingiverse. It fits all the other frames. And with these pads right here, if you use all these and use a 10 millimeter screw lengthwise, it will not get up in your stator. You can't really like tighten the crap out of these because you're squishing up that TPU that's where your uh, your Loctite is going to come into play all right that's pretty good right there so let's cut to all four of them being on Okay, now that we've got all our motors attached to the quad, we're going to set that aside over there. And then we're going to start talking about the ESCs. <clears throat> okay, I suggest that you have an 18 gauge. This is 16, I'm sorry. 18 is a minimum. Preferably 16 gauge wire powering your ESCs from your PDB. And 22 gauge wire going to um, going to your telemetry and your signal and your ground. Those these wires can be smaller, but I suggest that you use the 22 gauge for a little bit more durability for limbs uh, and you know prop strikes and stuff like that. These wires need to be three inches long. Each little square is an inch. Okay, so all your little signal wire and ground wires need to be three inches long. We're going to cut them off, but it's handy to start with them at three inches long. And the power wires at two and a half inches is, is good. So go ahead and tin up one end of each of these, just one end of all these. Get that done. Then we're going to tin up 
Um, all these pads, let's see, can I just bring it up here and not have to zoom? Yeah, every one of these pads, your, uh, I don't want to call that wrong, your positive, your negative, your, oh God, I can't see, that's the ground, telemetry, and signal. I hope I said that right. Yes, ground, telemetry, and signal. And then the three motor wires. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tin up all my ESCs. And I'm going to clean them all with alcohol. Ooh, zoom in. Uh, I'm going to tin one up for you here. Fast forward. And then I'm going to tin all these. And tin all these wires. And come back to you at that point. I do want to say real quick. To make sure that you don't. Let me put my soldering iron up here. I do want to say... Make sure that you don't get any solder. Why is that not focused? Okay, make sure that none of your solder is touching these um, capacitors right here. None of these are touching. That's that's very important. I have accidentally uh, got some solder over to there. And things don't work out. Works out okay on the ground, but not the positive. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Shut up, kick out. Oh my god. Okay, so I got all my ESCs soldered up there. Kit Kat is doing his thing that he always does. Um, I got all my wires soldered. They're not in the frame. Got all the wires soldered on one end. All these wires soldered. And then instead of like going through <laughs> and soldering these on here, I went ahead and soldered one up. And I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys if I can get that to focus. That's close enough. Um, so it's very small, but there's a little, a ground symbol right there. So your ground, we're going to be running the, uh, the yellow as the signal wire. The red wire is going to be the telemetry wire and the black wire will be our ground. And then this of course is our positive. So go ahead and solder those up. And I mean, I'm assuming there's people following along, but anyway, I mean, that's how I do it. Normally, I, I like to have a white wire as my telemetry wire, but I don't have one to, I ordered, uh, for some reason now the stores only carry black and uh, red wire. They don't carry white wires like they used to because us KISS guys are like old dudes now, but anyway. We're going to get all those soldered up and come back and talk about going ahead and getting these put on the frame and how I go about doing that. <laughs> okay, so I like to take my wires from my ESC and, and braid them. Not for looks, but for, uh, you know, because these wires have to be kind of long and they're small and I don't want them like sticking up. So this, they just hold each other together. Uh, so yeah. And then I take uh, my very tiny roll of double-sided sticky tape and I'm going to cut me off a little piece about yay long, about the size of the ESC, right, similar, similar to the size of the ESC and then I want to put it right in the middle of the arm, right here. All right, so if any of y'all are anal like me, I want to cut that so it's the same width of the arm. Right? Don't peel that off yet. Then I'll lay my ESC up on here. Right on top of that. And then I will temporarily take me a zip tie. And then I'll zip tie that sucker on right there like that. And that's just to hold it into position while I do the other things that I need to do. So, let's 
go ahead and set our flight controller back over here. So to keep this video from being 25 hours long, let's just cut to where all these are done, like this right here, and then we'll move on to the next step. Bitches! Okay, well, we got that done. Um, normally, your motors doesn't come up, um, all pretty and tied up like this, so I think this would be a good opportunity because most all the motors that I've ever had, you've got all these motor wires just hanging out all over the place. So once I get all of my ESCs mounted, I use this as a measuring device, okay? And this first little set of MOSFETs right here, can I get it in the frame? Can I zoom in a little? That's the wrong way. Can we get it in the frame? <sighs> Close enough. All right, this first little set of MOSFETs right there, that's just where I cut my wire. I use that as a gauge, and then I like to leave that length of wire when I go to wire it up. I just kind of like let it scrunch back and come straight off the motor because you can change the motor direction later in the Kiss GUI. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all these right quick. We might just let the camera roll on this one because this doesn't really take that long. I'm really, really trying to make this short, but get all the information in there I possibly can. Without boring you guys too much, but you know, it is what it is. After we get this quad built, we're gonna get out there and we're gonna start ripping again. This is what's been holding me up. Everybody's like, hey man, let's go rip. I'm like, I ain't got no quads. I, I took them all apart because I was having a little bit of trouble here and there. And I was like, you know what? I need to just completely rebuild everything and then i started wanting to do this build video and i wanted to like get everything in like all brand new for one build that way i wasn't like recycling parts and everything I, I, you know you're coming out with a signature frame you need to do it justice you know and like build that sucker with all brand new stuff you can't be recycling a bunch of garbage put on there but i have two other frames that's going to be my backups that we're recycling garbage on those so now I could just fold these little suckers back here you know get the these wires out of the way we're gonna work on our power wires going to our PDB and a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory but you know we don't want to mess it up so I keep zooming the wrong girl direction on that yeah all right, so what we have here is actually on this PDB, which is different than a lot of them I've worked with. My, my ground wire can just come straight over there to there, straight over there to there. So I usually just like hold the wire over there kind of where I want it. Like this. I know I want that wire on that pad. I just come a little, a little past the pad, not too much. Cut that wire there. Come over here and kind of bend this one around nice and neat. Cut that wire there. So, you know, I told you guys to cut these at two and a half inches. You know, I just wanted to make sure you guys had enough. You know, don't, you, you can actually mount your ESC on here like this and then just take your full length of wire and solder it on here and come around here and get your link that way you're not wasting these little pieces of wire like this because you know those you can't do anything with those you know and three or four wires you'd have enough to make a whole nother wire with it through four esc so it's kind of stupid to do the way that i did it but for new people that might be a good way of doing it so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna strip back a little piece of this right here and twist it up and a little piece of this one right here twist it up come in here with my soldering iron what I do with my solder I draw, oh here it is in this baby make sure it's 
sure you get a good flow of solder in there on that. Tin this sucker. All right. So I like to use tweezers. Get all these wires out of the way. Yeah. And come down and solder this one on. That is not the prettiest solder in the world, but you know what? It will work. Now we're going to do this one. Give it a little curl around here. Always double check that you're putting it on the right pad. All right. So we will do that on all four of them and come back. Okay, so we got all our wires hooked up to, to the PDB there. Now I'm going to go ahead and wire up the flight controller and go ahead and get it installed. So first what I need to do is hook up the uh, the power wires and on the flight controller here you have your positive and your negative. So I'm going to through solder that. I'm going to come up through the, from the bottom and uh, solder those wires on there. And then I will hook them up on here. So get in there a little bit. Probably can't see it because I won't be get close enough. But here you have your ground and your VCC, which is pretty much straight battery voltage. Or I could hook it up here on this one, the negative and the positive. There and there, but I'm saving this one for my VTX. And that one's probably just gonna be open because it's gonna be a cleaner install. If I just do my little wires about that long, in case y'all are wondering, I'm going to go two inches on those. Okay, got that done. I'm going to go ahead and solder my red wire, my positive to the VCC. Black wire to the ground. That solder is horrible. I'm gonna hold it with my tweezers. I'm not terribly excited about that solder job, but. I like to twist my wires. And then I'm going to fold it over. And there it is. So, next, I'm going to go ahead and tin up all my motor wires. I'll go ahead and do this one for you guys. You know, get a little bit of twist going on there. What did I do with the piece of solder? Lost it. Just gonna grab another one. Okay, tin these up.
and go ahead and solder them straight off the motor straight on to the wait I messed up okay I almost forgot messed up this is the time when you need to go ahead and slip on your heat shrink that you're going to be covering your ESC with it's impossible to get on there once you solder those wires on this is really thick industrial heat shrink don't know what size it is but it looks huge but it will shrink down to the proper size okay now moving on we can go ahead and solder our motor wires to the ESC Okay, got that done. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mute the video and go ahead and go ahead and do this heat shrink. Okay, now we can go ahead and peel our little double-sided sticky tape off here. And put our ESC protector on. Stick that sucker down. And then at this point, I like to go ahead and wrap tape around that, tape that up to hold that down. But I don't have any tape that I want to use at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead, move on, get the rest of these done, and get back with you guys. Okay, so I got all those done. I got my ESCs taped on here. There's only one more thing I think I've decided at this point that I'm just going to call this video like the bottom half and the top half is pretty much all the, the FPV system and uh, that kind of stuff, the receiver, the crossfire. But uh, this is just pretty much just the bottom, the, the, you know, the kiss and the motors and the frame. So I think I'm just going to call it here. But there is one more thing that I need to hook up to consider the bottom done would be... Can I zoom in here about right there is about as far as I can get and still be focused. Um, here, right beside the USB, is your negative and your positive for the beeper. We talked about that earlier in the other video, the buzzer. I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna go ahead and put me a little wire on it, and I'm probably gonna zip tie it right here. Josh made these little cutouts right here so you could zip tie things and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to zip tie it right here up in the front. And uh, so I'm going to do that right quick uh, and come back, you know, and, and show you guys what I did and how I did it. And maybe call it quits on this one. Okay, it's got kind of late in the day and I, I've lost my train of thought on, I thought that I was going to be able to, to button this build the bottom portion like I said but then I'm like I'm noticing like the stupid ESC wires are not even hooked to the flight controller so quickly let me uh, I guess I could uh, show you guys get zoomed in here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the buzzer right quick and, it, and explain kind of why I did the things I did uh, can I bring this closer No. 
hopefully that is zoomed in enough that you guys can see what's up here but i have never really had any good luck zip tying these um these buzzers on here i kind of want to talk to uh justin and see if he can like come up with a, a a 3d printed holder for my buzzer to go somewhere in here maybe hook in because i know he said he was going to do something back here with maybe the crossfire antenna with these instead of using these little bushings you know that thing would slip on there and it would hold your crossfire here but i want to see if maybe if i can talk to him about doing a a thing here that that clips in here and here and would hold my buzzer right there i think that'd be awesome but anyway i've got a zip tie on this wire hey kit cat hmm <laughs> i've got a buzzer on this wire right here uh, uh, not a buzzer excuse me it, it's getting it's getting late i got a, a zip tie on this wire and this wire here the positive and the negative three zip ties holding that thing on there but and then also another thing i use this thick 22 gauge wire running to it because i have this thing it'll come loose and it'll be dangling and flopping around so i wanted to go ahead and you know and have some good beefy wire so i can catch it and it wouldn't rip it off but you don't have to have that big of a wire running to your buzzer anyway enough about that i want to show you guys quickly which one of these that i'm going to tin up I'm going to be doing the uh, the ground, the telemetry, and the signal wire. That's motor two there. I should have started here on one. Uh, signal, telemetry, ground. These are for the receiver, your crossfire. And then, hey, Kit Kat, welcome to the video again. Uh, this big pad right here will have my uh, telemetry from my crossfire receiver. And then same goes for here with the uh, ground telemetry signal here, ground telemetry signal here on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and tin those up right quick, and then do one section of the of the of the wires for you guys. This video is probably gonna be an hour long. I hope not. Uh, anyway, get that get these quickly soldered up. I'm gonna skip those because I want to do the through hole on those hit that one right quick get those should turn my soldering iron around the other direction because i've got a giant clump that's fixing to drip off there i have a bad habit of not cleaning my soldering iron tip all right so that is a tinned up flight controller now that we got that flight controller tinned up there i'm going to put one little zip tie right here around this power wire and these signal wires because i don't want this wire getting lifted up and getting into the props we're going to put our wires up here get them trimmed it's going to kind of eyeball that where they need to be somewhere around in there will be good didn't waste too much on those all right trim these bastards right here I bet y'all really like watching me twist wires. I'm not really supposed to twist your wires, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Especially when the wire's this freaking big. It doesn't have to be this big. It's just carrying a signal. It's not carrying any voltage. A sustainable amount of voltage. All right. So first will be our signal wire. Come up here. 
zap that sucker on there. Our telemetry wire. Zap that sucker on there. And our ground wire. Going to have a ground, ground. A lot of people try to get be lazy and not hook the ground up on KISS ESCs. And they're like, I have a problem with my KISS build. I'm like, uh, do you have a ground on your ESCs? Because that's important. My lighting's getting horrible. SD card must be getting full. Battery's dying. Everything. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the other three up. Come back. Then close this sucker out. Okay, so I got all those hooked up there. I need to zoom in for you folks. So I got all my ESC wires hooked up there where I told you guys to put them. So that does officially, officially take care of the whole bottom of the drone. All we lack is the top plate with the FPV system and hooking up the uh, receiver to the fly controller. And then that should take care of it. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Links in the description to all this crap. T-shirts. I, I would say real quick, for the people that have actually sat through this whole Daggum build series. Um, I don't think people know that there's different colored shirts on the Teespring thing. You don't have to get black. There's a bunch of other colors. So, there's that. And I'm thinking about doing some hoodies coming up. So, see you in the next one.